Hey, good morning. Well, it's early again. It's like 5 a.m. in the morning. I've been up for about an hour meditating and so I'm like, oh, I totally need to share with you guys what's been going on and uh, yeah. So over the weekend, um, I was with my boyfriend and we were out walking around and just chatting and um, he mentioned something about his past, something that happened in a previous relationship. And I got so triggered, <laughs> like I could just feel my younger self just start to completely shut down and get into this um, completely disempowered state. So, I mean, dealt with it a little bit, you know, there, but um, it was really more the next day that yesterday that I was really able to kind of dive in and start to process this. And one thing that's really important to remember is that, um, you know, when you're ready to heal the universal brain, anybody and anything into your field to help you kind of heal these parts of yourself. So I could have gone into, you know, anger towards my boyfriend or, you know, I, I could have gone in a lot of different directions, but it has nothing to do with him, right? He was just sharing something that happened to him previously. But what it did is it brought something up in me that needed to be healed. And so what I did and the process that I did, which is how I want you all to start to orient yourself to these things that are arising in you, because when you have the courage to kind of go in and sit with this stuff and move through this process, not only do you clear it for you, you clear it for the entire field. You clear it for the sisters and brothers behind you and in front of you. And we've talked about this before, right? Unity consciousness. But a lot of times I think we still tend to look outside of ourselves and go, oh, well, they did that and that brought up this and, you know, I'm totally upset and, you know, let's start to take some self-responsibility, yeah, for what's happening Let's start to really kind of own our stuff and not be putting it on other people. So what happened was this disempowered part of myself for me, a lot of times it ends up in my belly. For you, it might be around your heart. It could be in your throat. You know, um, usually though, it kind of like lands like, you know, from throat to belly area. And so, what you do is you turn off your phone, you sit on the couch, you sit in a chair, and you get quiet. And I know for a lot of us, that's super scary, right? Just to sit with this, just to sit with it. You don't have to fix it, you don't have to change it, you don't have to figure it out. What you just do is sit with it, and you just feel it. And so I sat there, and all this stuff was coming up, and it's a younger part of myself, in feminine power, we can usually go in and identify the age of the younger self. But in this case, I really couldn't identify an age and it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter when it was there, if it was past life, if it was this life, whatever it is, right? We just sit with it. And what I then did was I just felt it. And I started to cry because this younger part needed to be seen, needed to be held, needed to be loved. And so I just sat there and I sent it love, <sighs> right? I didn't go into judgment around why is this still here? I've met this part before, <laughs> this isn't the first time. And I thought it was clear and it cleared enough for me to get up underneath it even more this time. So I just sat, sent it some love. And then what that does is the love energy starts to break this up. It turns the dark into light, right? And I, as I'm speaking to you right now, I can even feel it still continuing to move, still turning into light. It's not as painful anymore right? I'm not crying the tears. Those came and went fairly quickly. 
And what I'm now feeling is empowered. What I'm now feeling is I've gotten my strength back. I've gotten my power and where I land. And it's not a false power. It's not a false power to then go out and control others or to even to control my feelings or thoughts. It's just to allow, right? It's just to be the space. So when you turn towards these parts, you don't need to figure it out. You don't need to know why it's there. You don't know, you don't need to know when it was there. It doesn't matter. None of it matters. What matters is you just allow it to transform and you just sit with it and send it love. And so now what's happening is that my body and my cells and the consciousness is changing, right? It's turning into light. It's turning into love. And this energy then radiates out so that when I'm out in the world and when you're out in the world, you can be a testament to this light. You can be a testament to what happens when we sit and just allow these moments to move through and turn into blessings and turn into prayers and turn into grace, not only for ourselves, but for others. So I had shared with you before, this is how we do the light work. This is how we change consciousness. This is how we anchor in the love. This is how we transform. Because at the end of the day, this was my stuff. It didn't matter where it came from, but it was an opportunity, right? I've shared that with you before. We can look at this as, ah, oh, here we go again. Oh my God, it's here. Why is this here? I've already worked with it. This is ridiculous. This isn't about me. Or we can say, all right, you know what? It's a part of me that needs more love. Because it starts with us. It starts with where we are. And then when we can allow whatever needs to move through to move through because it's there and it's arising because it's ready to leave. And that is so important, right? If we try to break it down and figure it out, it's, it's keeping it there. It's not allowing this stuff to move through just let it go and if you can identify an age if you can sit there and be with it that's amazing but again you don't have to identify the age you just have to sit and be so that's it for this morning okay <laughs> I won't go back to sleep it's all right I'm up I took a nap later so sending you all so much love. Thank you for being the heroines and heroes on this trail. Thank you for continuing to just sit and do the work because this is the most important work right here. People don't name it as such, but becoming a light and becoming a love. It's the only gig there is. All right, tribe, much love. Many blessings. I'll catch you next time.